if I go right here, you can only see like right here. Who are you, John Cena? He always says you can't see me. John Cena? Uh -huh. John Cena? Uh -huh. Come on. Uh -huh. We are, what are you eating first of all? Goldfish. Okay. She said two fruit by the foots today and I said, that's enough lady. No moss fruit by the foots. Uh -huh. That's a nice car. Wow, that was a nice car. Yes. Two nice cars. Anyway guys, we are uh, doing a little toy hunt. We're gonna hit Target, we're gonna hit Walmart. I don't know if I'm actually looking for anything. I think I might pick up uh, Shatter and Dropkick, Studio Series Shatter and Dropkick, because I have Bumblebee, I have Blitzwing, I have Cliff Jumper now, spoiler alert, and I kind of want to pick up uh, the rest of the bots from Bumblebee. Oh. I am sure that we might stop for some Starbucks. Yeah! But we're gonna wear some masks, and we're gonna, that lady's not wearing a mask. Yes, she is, it's a, that's a weird looking mask. Looks like her face. So, uh, and then these people don't know that there's a car behind them. Beep, beep, there's a car behind you. Hello. Oh, Bobby, I don't see car. I don't know that there's cars around me. I just keep walking. Oopsies. Anyway guys, we're gonna go into Target, Walmart. We'll see what you got. Okay, adios. No. Lock the car so no one steals poo. Yes. Like someone wants your nine year old, disgusting, flabby Winnie the Pooh stuffed animal. And he is flabby, he's missing fuzz. So we ran out of time. Thanks for dropping both of them. We ran out of time. I'm gonna open mine. Because oh, I got a mini brand. She got a mini brand. She collects those. Yes. They're basically like little tiny versions of like actual household products. Like fruit. Don't just throw the trash on the ground, Here. girlfriend. There's a trash can back there. There is not. These kids these days. These kids. Anyway, uh, we ran out of time, so part due at Walmart will actually just be me. Uh, sad. sad, yeah. No Tay Tay there. But uh, I got this guy, Warpath. Oh, very, very cool. No knives though, he should come with his knives, but. Knives? Yeah, he comes with knives, he's on X-Force. What did you get? Uh, it might be a golden one, maybe. Uh-oh, no. she got a rare one? There's my, one of my favorite breakfast meats right there. This Spam. is what I'm talking about. My fellow Filipinos out wait, there know wait. all about this. Wait, we wait, all love Spam. Wait, wait. Wait. She got a little moon pie. Way, way. So these would be cool for like people that are like uh, doing dios and stuff that want to like put this stuff with their, I don't know if this would work for like a six inch figure, but like a 12 inch, like a Hot Toys figure, wait, one wait, sixth wait, wait, scale wait. figure. These would work pretty good, I think. These little products here. Uh, this is the other thing I got, I got Shatter. Is, 
the box messed up? Box is messed up. I got Shatter. This is my favorite version of Shatter. They did two versions of Shatter, two okay. versions of Dropkick. I got. And I like soy this sauce. version the most. I got soy sauce. Where is it? Okay. Those are the only three things that it comes with. Now I have one more to open. Some Kiko Man soy sauce right there. Oh, I had this one. Oh, I have it. So it's like little shaving cream, like mommy. I think mommy uses that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't like the shave pink. gel. She doesn't like the pink one because it's skin tastic. Because it smells too bad. It's like. So anyway, that was what we got you. <gasps> you got some mini brands. Oh, wait, wait. What's I the other thing you got? So anyway, guys, I'll see you guys uh, at Walmart without this little one right here. Uh, she's going to go me meet, meet up with Mrs. Cincy. You're just throwing trash all over the place, girl. And this is a clean car. No. We're in a clean space right now. It's not a garbage chute like your room. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Say goodbye, Tay Tay. That's not yours. That's your sister's. Why did you open that? I will give it to me. It. No. I just realized this is for her sister and she opened it. And bad. <laughs> That's bad mojo. And It'd be like if I picked up a figure for Craig and I opened it and then just sent him the uh, open figure. Messed up. Messed up, girlfriend. This That's a party crazy. foul. Bye. Adios. I actually don't have time to go to Walmart right now. But I will show you Walmart in this video. I have about 15 minutes before I have to pick up P-Dog from Cheer. And uh, I think I'm gonna stop at Walgreens because it's on the way. I haven't been to Walgreens in a long, long time. The last couple things that I bought from Walgreens, I bought online and that was the uh, Legends Iron Man 2020 and Legends uh, Moon Knight, which I have both of them now. Really, really like the Moon Knight figure. I still have not opened the uh, Iron Man 2020 figure and I'm here at Walgreens now. So I'll show you guys what they got in here and I'll see you guys inside. That was a very, very quick trip to uh, Walgreens. I didn't pick anything up, didn't see anything that I really needed or wanted, but uh, I did pick up, uh, I guess I lied, I picked up some, some chips, some Utz chips. They've made their way down to Texas, all the way from uh, Hanover, PA. I grew up in Washington, D.C. on the East Coast, uh, Northern Virginia area, Maryland, and I just freaking love Utz, so I bought a freaking frick ton of us. I got the little snack packs. I got the big uh, bag of the honey barbecue. Freaking just love Utz chips. Anyway, guys, what I was going to say is uh, while I didn't buy anything at Walgreens, for some reason it felt really good going into a Walgreens and doing a toy hunt. Uh, it really brought back memories of when I lived in Cincinnati and I would do, I had like six Walgreens in like a circle around the house and I would hit them hit them all up for like pops and exclusive figures, stuff like that. So while I didn't get anything on this run, they still had some stuff. They had the Iron Man 2020, they had that Power Rangers Lightning Collection exclusive, but uh, I just didn't buy anything, but it just felt good going to a Walgreens. I don't know why. Maybe you'll see more of that in, uh, in these videos. Maybe you'll see uh, more toy hunts at Walgreens. I don't know. It just feels different than a, a Walmart and a Target. If you go on toy hunts and you go into Walgreens, tell me in the comments, does it feel different to you going into a Walgreens versus a Target or a Walmart? Because it does to me. I'm going to pick up P-Dog right now and uh, I'm going to see if she wants to go with me to Walmart. All right, here we go. We're at Walmart and what is this? Green Lantern. Oh, I've seen that one. So we got some Joes, Duke Scarlet. We got some cables. Let me take a good look at this guy. That looks very, very cool. Um, same old Transformers, some Netflix Transformers here. Let's see, what else do we have? No AEW figures. 
type Maverick. Big this. There's some elites there. Ooh, what? Fig swap. Someone fig swapped. That sucks. And Akbar, Battle Cats. I still know Adam and Sky Sled. I'm still looking for that one. I cannot find that one. Should have picked it up when I first saw it. But uh, yeah, looking for that one. And then these are all Skeletors here. And it looks like that might be it. Totally missed this. But they have four of the Zordon and Alpha 5s. Really fast. I'm gonna get this. Walmart exclusive. Yes, I'm gonna get it. This is me right here. <laughs> All right, so we're all done at Walmart, and uh, I did not leave empty-handed. I finally picked this guy up. I've seen him a couple times. Uh, I've kind of um, been a little fussy with the paint apps on him, but I think I found a really good one. Here he is right here. It's Cable. Movie Cable, Josh Brolin. What are you doing, girlfriend? I want to put it in the window. Why? It's hot out. Oh. Getting hot in her! That is the hunt, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I'll see you back at the Nerd Bar. My dirt off my shoulder. How did you got dirt on your shoulder? It's not dirt, it's fuzz, but that's a song. Thanks for joining. Say bye bye, P Dog. Bye bye. Bye bye, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this awesome Saturday morning hunt. Potato chip hunt. Bam. You know it's even got the cheese curls. Super bam. Oh right my there. god, you got the paper. Sorry, I'll fly. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Different day. Same dealio. I'm out. Uh, I was not uh, planning on recording anything today. I just wanted to get me a little freaking mango, super the Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Superfly Snooka, Dragonfly Fruit, freaking mango, whatever the frick it's called, drink, because it's delicious. And then I went over to uh, Walmart Again, didn't even take my phone out, wasn't going to record, and lo and mother frickin' behold, look what they had. Bam. Bam. So I went ahead and canceled my damn pre-order on Amazon, because that thing's not doing until the end of October. Top spin. My final wrecker. I got all three wreckers in, what, one weekend? I got all three wreckers in one weekend. Leadfoot. Top spin, Roadbuster. Bam, look at him. He's freaking awesome. Look at that. So freaking psyched. I'm so freaking psyched that I was able to find this guy early because again, I pre-ordered it on Amazon. Amazon has become a little unreliable with uh, figures and toys recently. Like uh, you'll buy something, they'll charge you for it, and then it'll say that it's being shipped out and then all of a sudden it'll say like undeliverable. What the frick is up with that? Yeah, I canceled my Amazon pre-order. I don't feel bad about it. I don't feel bad about it. Uh, and then I also found this guy. Not expecting to find him either, but bam, Soundwave, Satellite Soundwave, Revenge of the Fallen, Satellite Soundwave. He's in bot form right there, but you can transform him into satellite mode right there. Satellite. Who sang that song? Was that P.O.D.? P.O.D. Satellite. I haven't heard that song in a while. And I didn't do that song any frickin' justice just now by singing it. But anyway, Soundwave, Top Spin, Sight, Sight. That's it right now, guys. I'll see you guys back at uh, whatever the frick that place is called. It's not the Nerd Bar yet, because we don't have a bar yet. The Nerd, the Nerd Quarters, I like that. The Nerd Quarters, I'll see you there. I'll show you some Transformers. I'm probably gonna take these out. Since you've already seen them in box, I'm gonna take them out and show you them out of box. Have a little out of box experience. Yeah! Uh, show you those, show you some Marvel Legends, maybe that cable, maybe that frickin' uh, Warpath. I'll see you there. Adios, muchachos! All right guys, I'm back at the house and before I show you the haul, I wanna show you a few things that I unboxed from some recent videos. Uh, some recent hauls. 
Let's start with the Thundercats Ultimates. Lion-O. Holy cow, this thing is freaking amazing. I really, really like this line. As a matter of fact, I think that out of all of the lines that Super 7 has produced, between Thundercats, the uh, Masters of the Universe, Filmation, and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so far, I think Thundercats is the best one. I know some people have reported like QC issues and pain issues, but mine was uh, pretty much freaking perfect. So I really, really like this Lino a lot. It comes with multiple accessories, multiple claw shields, uh, just a really, really well done figure overall. I really, really like this one, and I really, really recommend this figure. If you were into Thundercats, if you're thinking about getting into the line, I really like that figure. Uh, the Panthro is also really well done, uh, except uh, from what I have heard and what I have now seen, the shorts are the wrong color. The shorts should be a darker blue, but they're a lighter blue. From what I hear, uh, Super 7's going to be sending out replacement uh, shorts, replacement trunks, speedos, and uh, as well as a, a secondary head. So I'm not sure how the frick I'm going to get that uh, because I bought this through Big Bad. So I don't know if Big Bad's just going to automatically add it to my pile of loot. I have no earthly idea. If you were uh, one of the ones that bought this Panthro and you heard Super 7's going to be sending out replacement trunks and replacement head or additional head, let me know in the comments how it is that you actually get that. Because I'm not exactly sure, but uh, Panthro looks really, really cool. I like Panthro a lot. Here is Fisto. I don't have Stratos here. He's actually up on the shelf there, but I do have Fisto right here, and he looks great as well. Very, very cool. There's that glorious mustache right there. Fisto, Filmation, Motu Classics. Also wanted to show you this one right here. So this is the Super 7 Raphael. Uh, I do like this one, although uh, his uh, articulation is kind of uh, kind of weird. It's uh, it's a little loose in some joints. It's a little too tight in some joints. Uh, but overall, as far as the aesthetic itself, how it looks, I do like the way it looks. It's just the uh, I have a few issues with the articulation, specifically and like the legs. The legs feel a little loose, like they're ratchety, but like in between the ratchets, it's loose. Very strange. And then uh, some of the joints, like the elbow joints, way too tight. The wrist joint, way too tight. Feels like it's going to break sometimes when I'm trying to uh, articulate them. But again, the way it looks, it looks great. It really does remind me of the old Playmates toys. Uh, so I will probably get into this line. But as you can see, like I tried to just hold it in that pose. And then it went back like that. So just kind of odd articulation. But again, Thundercats, my favorite Super 7 line so far so we'll see how far that line goes we'll see how many figures i get from that line the last thing i wanted to show you from a previous haul is a marvel legends figure this is maverick and uh, i just really like this figure i have him on a little flight stand there because i have him in kind of like a little running gun pose right there but i do really really like this maverick figure so much 90s nostalgia right there with maverick the way he looks his costume just straight up Jim Lee just jumped right off the pages of Jim Lee's X-Men right there. But very, very cool. I really, really like that Maverick figure. But let's go ahead and get into the, the haul here. I actually, I'm going to show you the stuff that I bought and show you some other stuff as well. I got some comics. I have a uh, random baseball card. I have a t-shirt and then one other figure. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So yes, uh, Marvel Legends and Transformers is what the bulk of this haul is. I'm going to show you the Marvel Legends first. Marvel Legends Warpath, so I was just talking about 90s nostalgic X-Men, this is 90s nostalgic X-Force, Rob Liefeld, Warpath, uh, very, very cool, he was one of my favorite characters on X-Force, obviously I liked Cable as well, Shatterstar, but uh, Warpath, freaking awesome. I always really liked the character of Thunderbird, but obviously he died very, very quick in the Uncanny X-Men run, I think, what, two issues in? Uh, so, yeah, I liked the look of Thunderbird, and uh, I really, really enjoy uh, Warpath as well. So, got that one. Here is Josh Brolin. Speaking of X-Force, here's the movie version. Josh Brolin Cable, right there. Be mindful of the paint apps on the eyes. Uh, I've uh, gone through a couple of these figures um, because uh, the eye that is not the messed up eye, the actual regular working eye on Cable, sometimes looks a little bit crossed in like he's looking at his own nose uh, so make sure you look at the eyes make sure you check out the paint apps and make sure you get a good one but uh really really happy that i picked up this figure can't wait to get the uh 
Domino, the Deadpool, and the Negasonic Teenage Warhead figure. I did complete my wreckers, so I got Top Spin right here. Uh, also found Leadfoot and Roadbuster recently as well, so I got all three wreckers all in the same weekend actually, so very happy about that. I got Satellite, S -s -s Satellite. I think that was P.O.D. And once again, terrible singing on my part. But there you go, Satellite Soundwave. Not in satellite form there, but he will be on my shelf. There he is right there, satellite form. Never said I was a good singer, guys. Shatter, sh -sh shattered. Rolling Stones, shattered. Was that Rolling Stones? Am I thinking correctly? I think that was them, right? Uh, anyway, Shatter. I like this version the most. This is the airplane version. I don't really like the way the Shatter looks in the car form or the car form version of Shatter. I do, however, prefer the car form of Dropkick versus the helicopter form of Dropkick, if you know what I'm saying. So I will still be looking for the Studio Series car form of Dropkick. He's kind of hard to find now. I saw him at the beach. Just a few, what was that, a couple months ago and I passed on him like a frickin' moron. And now I regret it and now I can't find him. Car, drop kick, I'm looking for ya. And then the last one in this Transformers haul, Cliff Jumper, little Cliffy. Little Cliffy gets split in half, gets frickin' murdered by two murder bots, frickin' a-hole Decepticons, shatter and drop kick, frickin' cut him in half. He was, he was just being a, just being a dude on, what was that, Saturn? <sighs> Poor little cliff jumper. Poor little guy. Uh, so let me show you the rest of the stuff in this haul. I'm going to start with the comic books. I usually start, start with the comic books, but now I'm just kind of, it's kind of in the middle. So let me show you which ones I got. Small stack here. So a uh, couple of indies. I actually kind of loaded up on indies. Some indies, some DC, some Marvel. We'll start with the indies. Seven Secrets, number two, Tom Taylor. One of my favorite writers, one of my favorite comic book writers right now is Tom Taylor. I have not read issue one, so I don't know if it's any good, but I heard uh, that it's pretty good. So I'm looking forward to reading this. Big Girls Don't Cry, and apparently they uh, kick a lot of A also. This is Big Girls number one, and Big Girls numero dos. What is this about? It's about giants. It's about, from what I understand, it's about... Uh, Humans that take this stuff and it makes them giant, like gigantic. Uh, so, and then they fight things, fight monsters. So, and this is by Jason Howard. I feel like I've read a lot of stuff by Jason Howard, but I could not tell you what it was at this point. But uh, I got that one. Firepower number three, Robert Kirkman. Robert Kirkman from Walking Dead fame. Uh, this is his new comic book, issue three, Firepower. I am still reading through the trade, which uh, goes before the actual series itself, so I can't tell you if it's any good. Stillwater number one, Chip Zdarsky, Stillwater number one, horror comic. Not sure what this is about, Ramon Perez, uh, but um, it's, a, it's an image number one. It's a horror comic. I tend to like image horror comics, so I picked it up. We'll see how it goes. Detective Comics 1027, so this is a thick book. Look at how thick this book is. Holy frick. This was expensive too. This was like eight bucks, seven bucks. Anyway, I got the uh, J. Scott Campbell, one of my favorite artists of all time. J. Scott Campbell, Batgirl, Batman comic. Looking absolutely glorious right there. <clears throat> very, very awesome. More DC. I got Justice League number 53. Enter the Metalverse. Metalverse! Yeah! I don't know what that was, but uh, that was the metal verse, and holy moly! Bam! Goblin Queen, Hellions, Madeline Pryor. Bam! That's all I got to say about that. This one right here, Immortal Hulk, this is the Alex Ross Timeless cover. I like these Timeless covers. Uh, for the comics that I collect, I'm not going to go out of my way and just buy comics that I don't really collect just to get the timeless covers, but for the comics I do collect, if they're making a timeless cover, I will purchase it. And this is a absolutely amazingly gorgeous Alex Ross timeless cover, Immortal Hulk. Look at that. 
freaking amazing. Iron Man number one, this is a uh, brand new run, new arc. What's the legacy number on this? It does not even say. And this is actually a wraparound cover, so I'm not doing this cover any justice because it's in bag and board already. But uh, Cafu, awesome artist. I think he does digital stuff because the art inside is absolutely gorgeous. But um, he's a Christopher Cantwell, I think is the writer. But uh, Iron Man number one. So if you are into Iron Man, you want a good jumping on point, I guess right now is the time to do it. How many more comics I got here? Just two. Just two. Thor number seven. Uh, not sure what happens in Thor number seven, but it's already on like second or third print. So apparently something happens in here. Or it's just a popular comic because Donny Cates is the writer. And Donny Cates is my favorite writer in comic books right now. Donny Cates, just an amazing writer. I just finished Silver Surfer Black. I just finished his run of Guardians of the Galaxy. Both are absolutely amazing. Donny Cates, just a great writer. Just a great writer. I love his stuff. And then finally, another great writer, but Cates has surpassed him on my scale of favorite writers. X-Men, Numero, 12, Hickman, Jonathan Hickman. Something happens in here because it leads right into X of Swords, the new 22-part mini-series. I don't know how 22 parts is a mini-series, but those are the comics, guys. Thanks for sticking around during the comics because these comics are the reasons that we collect these things. For the most part, if these didn't exist, we wouldn't have these things. So respect the comics, my friends. All right, just a few more things in this lot. Here's the random ass baseball card. I do collect baseball cards, I collect hockey cards. I collect sports cards, a lot of rookies and stuff, and I got a new rookie card. It's Luis Robert. So Chicago White Sox, this guy is a freaking stud. Just a home run hitter, awesome hitter. Luis Robert, tops rookie, got it, bam. Uh, so that is, uh, what, my third or fourth? Baseball rookie I've purchased in the last few months. I uh, picked up the Tatis, picked up the Robber, picked up uh, Cunha, picked up uh, Soto. Uh, but yeah, good stuff right there. And then I got a new t-shirt. First of all, shout out to the uh, PowerCon. I think this is a PowerCon exclusive. Battle Armor Skeletor t-shirt I'm wearing right now. But I got this one. I think this one was a ripped apparel. I think. Maybe. I forgot. Bam. Dungeons & Dragons. The Chosen Ones. This is a homage to, is it the Warriors? I forgot. What is the original look of this? Is that Warrior? The Warriors? I don't recall. But uh, Dungeons and Dragons, baby. They don't make enough Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Loved that cartoon on Saturday mornings. One of my favorite, favorite things on Saturday morning when I was a kid. Final figure in this haul. I got this from WWEshop.com. He is, um, it's a WWE Elite figure. I was hoping to get the other version uh, of this one, but I got this version. So I'm gonna still look for the other version. I think the other version is the standard version. This one might be like the Chase variant, uh, but it is Shelton Benjamin. And uh, he's in the Hurt, the Hurt Business. I keep trying to call it the Hurt Locker because that was a great movie, but Hurt Business, Lashley, Shelton, MVP, Cedric, I got Shelton Benjamin. This is the gold standard version. I th again, I think this might be the chase, and then the regular version uh, is this version right here where he doesn't have the, the blonde hair, and he's got alternate attire as well. But uh, there's Shelty B, Shelton Benjamin. Fellow collector right there, Shelton Benjamin. Shelton, if you're watching this, shout out to you, my friend. He collects hot toys. He collects, he collects stuff. He's a collector. He's an awesome wrestler, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Shelton Benjamin. There you go, guys. That was the haul. That was the video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you guys like the uh, the toy hunt. I will do more of them. They were very, very fun, especially going into Walgreens. Going into Walgreens just uh, felt really good. And there's a few things at Walgreens that I am looking for. So. Uh, maybe we'll see more stuff there in the future, but that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, hitting notifications, hitting thumbs up. Uh, I think I'm only about 100 subs away from 20K. Again, I usually don't give a rat's patoot about sub count. I just want to produce fun videos. But uh, I am near a milestone. It is 2020. I do 
Hope to hit 20,000 in 2020, that would be cool. And I will be doing a giveaway. I'm not sure uh, everything that I will be giving away, but I will be doing a giveaway when I hit 20K. It'll be fun. We'll have a good time. But that's it for now. Adios, guys, and have fun collecting.